And now we're going to learn about how to record making mortgage payments. What does each monthly mortgage payment have? Well, each payment has a small amount for interest expense, which is the service fee that the bank keeps because they loan you money for the mortgage. It has an amount that decreases the principal balance, and that amount is going to be different for each monthly payment. And of course, very often, mortgage payments also include something called escrow, which is a mix of the mandatory real estate taxes and mandatory insurance that the bank requires that you keep during the life of the mortgage. Now, we already put this account in our chart of accounts, the principal. We already have a long-term liability in our chart of accounts that we put in an earlier video, and that reflects the current balance. What we have not yet put is interest expense and escrow in our chart of accounts, and we will put them both as an expense. From the main menu, click List, Chart of Accounts, in the bottom left, click Account New. Now these will both be expenses. One will be interest expense. Save and New. And the other expense will be escrow. And you might want to also mention some more details about which one it is. Okay, save and close, and now we have the accounts on our list, and we're able to start making mortgage payments. How do you know how much of each payment goes to each of the parts that we talked about? Well, there's two ways. The bank will give you a payment schedule, so you will always know which payment has which amounts. Or you could use the QuickBooks Loan Manager, which will be discussed in the following videos. For example, let's imagine on November 1, we made payment number 1 for $500. Now, all of the payments will be $500. However, let's imagine that every single payment has a $100 escrow for the insurance and the taxes. But this particular payment, payment number 1, the interest will be $100. And 300 of this payment will be a balance reduction reducing the principal. So how do you record this in one payment? You do what we call a split check and it's very, very easy. Before we make the payment, we look at the trial balance and you can see that the mortgage to Mike was still is still $70,000 and we have $92,920 in the bank and right now we don't have any interest expense or escrow on the trial balance even though we put it in the chart of accounts. But these numbers will change accordingly when we enter this information for this first payment. So, we open the check window and we put the date November 1st of 2020. Now, the person who we pay is Mike the Mortgage Guy, uh, Mike's Mighty Mike's Real Estate. Now, the amount that we're paying is 500 and we push tab. Now, QuickBooks tries to help us by remembering the most recent account associated with this vendor. It does not know what's happening. It's just trying to make a suggestion. We will not leave this as $500 and we will not leave this as the building. First, the escrow account, the escrow, which I believe is here, we already said 100 out of the 500, push tab, 100 out of the 500, out of this $500 total payment, $100 goes to the escrow. We also said expense, which is interest expense. In this particular payment, payment number one, the interest is $100. And therefore, the remaining 300 decreases what we owe, so we go to the long-term liability account here. So this is what's called a split check. 
The total we're paying is on top, and that's what's coming out of the bank account that you chose. A hundred of that goes to this expense escrow. Another hundred goes to this expense interest. And the remainder decreases the long-term liability. When we click Save and Close, we look at the trial balance and we see the mortgage to Mike is no longer 70000 It is now 69700 You now notice you have $500 less in the bank as a result. And for the very first time, interest expense showed up for $100 and the escrow showed up for $100. Now, we must do a second example to get the whole picture. Let's imagine December 1, we made payment number 2, again for $500. Again, the $100 in escrow will be the same for each payment. However, the bank schedule that they gave us for this mortgage tells us that in payment number 2, the interest amount is only $95, and the amount the principal is reduced in payment number two is $305. And this is exactly the way we split the check. We click check from up here, and again, it's December 1, and it's still Mighty Mike's mortgages whom we're paying, and we're still paying $500. Now, we know that the escrow amount is still going to be $100, so we might as well put that first. But this time, the amount of interest expense is only $95 because it's the second payment and the interest goes down each payment. And that means the mortgage reduction, the principal decrease of this long-term liability is now $305. So QuickBooks knows this has to add up to the total payment on top. And if you ask, why does the interest go down each month, and why does the principal reduction go up each month? For that, you can simply watch the following videos, and it will explain all about how mortgages work. For now, just click Save and Close and take a look. Now, the balance of the mortgage is even more decreased, and the interest expense is even higher because we had two months' worth of interest. And, of course, the bank account decreased even more, and that's how we do it. If you look at the loan balance right now, um, uh, what is it, uh, mortgage to Mike, it's now down to 69395 which means if we wanted to pay off the mortgage after the December 1 payment, this would be the amount we would have to pay.